Uh, hello my friends so I uh, welcome you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator and uh, today actually what happened was yesterday I tried to channel Archangel Michael I was not able to and today I s finally was able to channel Archangel Michael and you know yesterday during the daytime I got this uh, inner insight that I need to place a religious book when I'm channeling and I was correct you know Archangel Michael you know gave me specific instructions in today's channeling session about this as well and also you know in today's session he talks about Adam and Eve what they really are okay much of the information that is out there is is not the truth my friends it sounds you know if you compare you know what Michael is saying today to the to the already present you know the story of Adam and Eve you will see the difference there is so much detail in today's today's you know the truth of the session that occurred today and uh, today you know Archangel Michael uh, talks about Adam Eve Lucifer and also about Elohim so he talks about three things and I hope you enjoy the session and I am also placing by the way this book is known as Bhagavad Gita and this book is known as the Bible I think the New Testament so I'm placing these books while I'm channeling uh, as stated by Michael and I hope you enjoy thank you so much I am Archangel Michael and I am here connected to you in the love of the one everything this boy had tried to contact me yesterday however due to the room not being a pure love light energies I could not connect yesterday Further, before any contact, I would recommend to please keep a religious book according to your belief system which will serve as a symbol of love light. Before I start, I would like to tell you to use your discernment and accept only resonating messages and reject those that do not resonate with your inner heart. Today this boy whom I am connected to seeks to understand how the so-called Adam and Eve event occurred in your terms in the planet Earth. For your understanding, I will refer to time spaces as BCE, meaning before a common era, in order to conserve the energies of this instrument. At around 499-980 BC from the planet Mars, the Council of Mars and Maldek, who are non-physical entities, which were in the later phases of the so-called fourth density consciousness as known by this channel at that time period, sent a portion of their consciousness group collective in the form of physical entities to Earth to help Earth evolve from their primitive state. These beings chose to appear in the form of physical vehicles because without doing so the beings of that time space would not have been able to perceive and see them. Hence, in order to teach them, these later fourth density beings took the shape of the first humanoid-like form. And a name was attached to this group, and that can be pronounced in your language terms as Elohim. These beings act as a bridge of communication between the entire social memory complex of the Mars Maldek Council and the beings of Earth. Also, the Divine One, known as Jesus of Nazareth, during His resurrection, resurrected in the form of this later fourth density consciousness. 
wherein such entity if desirous can choose to appear in the form of any physical vehicle. These Elohims needed to transplant life plasma from the so-called Neanderthal physical vehicles that existed at that time space into their physical vehicle because they wanted to replicate their physical form to be able to appear in Neander-like form so that they could appear before these Neanderthal beings on earth in their familiar form in order to not intimidate these beings and to teach them. For this transplantation purpose, these Elohims chose the best physical vehicles from amongst the Neanderthals at that time space and picked the finest 69 males and 69 females amongst the Neanderthals, specifically in this number because it was a special number combination for their kinds that signified the attainment of unity with the one infinite source. In exchange, these Elohims granted these 138 chosen Neanderthal beings immortality by genetically modifying them in order to keep their age static after a certain fruition of physical vehicle, which occurred at the age of 27 for most of these primitive Neanderthals at that time space. This transplant is what your kind refers to as the creation of this event called as Eve was made out of Adam's rib. However, many of this information has been erroneously recorded in your time space around 38,000 years ago. The true fact was lost over time in your time space. These fourth density beings, Elohims, were in essence vegetarian, which means your kind refers to as because they understood that consuming second density creatures would lead to the creation of so called karmic collective in their life. Hence, they were totally vegetarian. These Elohim's first mission was to change Neanderthals from hunters into harderers and into agriculturists by improving their mind, body, and genetic composition. This led to the creation of a small city named as Dalmatia that was established in the Mesopotamian region at that time period, near the lands known to your kinds as Turkey and Armenia in the present time period. This became the center for the Elohims to come in and appear and change their forms and connect back with their consciousness group collective. This city had been divided into six sections and nine subsections and were surrounded by 69 feet tall walls. At the center, a pyramid altar was established that was three stories high. Around this temple were six chambers and three stories tall where these Elohim beings would conduct their interplanetary connection with their own consciousness group collective of the council and download instructions as well. In this city of Dalmatia, an educational headquarter which your kind refers to as educational university was established to teach spiritual knowledge to the Neanderthals of that time-space period. This started the evolution of the first known human-like species and the whole planet started to evolve. These Elohims adopted Neanderthal children and took care of them. This was the first family consisting of a male, a female and a child on your planet. This led to other ancient Neanderthals also to create their own families and so this family idea spread across the whole planet and became embedded in your human culture. At a further time space, these Elohims instructed the Neanderthals to interbreed amongst themselves which led to the creation of children. The so-called tree of life is originally a tree, a later second density physical vehicle crossbred that is from the planet Maldek. 
This tree requires only oxygen to survive and does not need any soil, for it does not possess any roots. This tree of life was planted inside the city known as Dalmatia, at the center inside the altar of these Elohims. This tree had fruits that resemble the so-called apple in your time space currently. And this fruit was used to maintain immortality by these Elohims. And those chosen 138 Neanderthals were forbidden to eat this fruit. Without this fruit, the Elohims would age on earth due to the atmospheric conditions of earth being different, which degrades the physical vehicles of humans with every breath. Every breath of oxygen you take is also damaging your physical vehicle at this time space. Yet it is vital. This is the cost that beings on earth have to bear in order to progress through this density of existence. The other Neanderthals who had not been genetically altered would not be affected by eating this fruit. This fruit only deactivated those genetically modified genes of the 138 genetically modified humanoid Neanderthals and reversed their genetic engineering if they ate it. The Elohims were divided into 10 groups of 10 each and each group had a spiritual mission. These include the Council on Physical Produce, the Board of Animal Herding, the Advisors on the Control of Predatory Animals, the Faculty on the Dissemination and Conservation of Knowledge, the Commission on Industry and Trade, the College of Spirituality and Learning, the Guardians of Vitality and Health, the Council on Science and Arts, and the Governors of Advanced Humanoid Tribal Relations, and finally the Supreme Council of Humanoid Coordination and Racial Cooperation. This group was run by an Elohim member named Vander Kinin in your language terms, whom Lake Van in Armenia is named after even today. The secret to successfully evolve the beings on your planet is that it has to be in a moderate and steady manner. It cannot be too fast or else it will cause disintegration of experience. It cannot be too slow or else people will become stuck in the same density of consciousness. These Elohim spent the next 290,000 years slowly evolving these very primitive humans. The more ignorant beings take a longer amount of time to evolve. After 290,000 years, around 185,000 BC, the Council of Beings named Lucifer, who governed the planets named as Jupiter and Uranus, and other planets in another galaxy at that time space decided to rebel and become self-service oriented and negatively polarized in the later fourth density negative polarity. Lucifer's social memory complex had philosophy of selfishness, enslavement of others and assertiveness. At first, Lucifer beings thought they were doing the right thing, but by the time they realized they were wrong, they had lost all sanity and remained evil to the end. These beings successfully tricked 36 planets into rebelling with them, which included Earth. Elohims had worked with Lucifer beings in the past, and Lucifer beings used this old friendship by manipulating some Elohim entities into joining forces with Lucifer's negative self-service agenda. These Elohim entities who joined the negatively oriented entities were stripped of all positive polarity and influence on planet Earth but remained in the hidden realms where they became known as the negatively oriented devils. Due to their negative agenda and negative polarization, the positive oriented Elohims that were left on Earth immediately declared themselves as the caretakers of Earth. At this time, Earth was not quarantined and had a system to broadcast universal 
messages into Earth so the masses would know what is going on around the universe. The negatively oriented Lucifer and some Elohims tried to use this news broadcast to manipulate the masses of primitive humans on Earth into following their negatively polarized path. This caused the shutdown of this broadcast center and put Earth into quarantine by these positively oriented Elohims. The Universal Council of Planets had decided to let Lucifer Rebellion happen to some extent because they knew it would disturb an entire sector of the universe, so they let them do this on this part of the universe. In order to prevent other parts of the universe being infiltrated by this negative agenda, therefore much more would be gained than would be lost in the long run. This is all the information this instrument can handle at this time space. Therefore, we would further request this instrument to connect with me to gain further information in this regard in the next session. I leave you now in the love of the one everything. So be it.